I'm Keith Olbermann and this is The Resistance. We are at the darkest moment in the history of representative government in this country. James Comey has now implied under oath that the President of the United States is being investigated by the Justice Department for possible collusion with the Russian government in tampering with the 2016 election and that the President of the United States is also being investigated for possible obstruction of justice. Comey said none of these things so starkly nor directly in his testimony to the Senate Intelligence Committee, but he might as well have. The Republican Senator Mr. Cotton asked it bluntly, do you think Donald Trump colluded with Russia? Comey's reply, that's a question I don't think I should answer in an open setting, but that's a question that will be answered by the investigation, I think. Logic exercise. How would Special Counsel Robert Mueller answer that question? By investigating. Who would you investigate to see if Trump colluded with Russia? Trump and all around him. Conclusion, Special Counsel Mueller is investigating Donald Trump perhaps right now, about collusion with Russia. The Republican chairman, Mr. Burr, asked about Comey's conversation with Trump about General Flynn. Comey's reply, I don't think it's for me to say whether the conversation I had with the president was an effort to obstruct. I took it as a very disturbing thing, very concerning, but that's a conclusion I'm sure the special counsel will work toward to try and understand what the intention was there and whether that's an offense. Second logic exercise, how could Special Counsel Robert Mueller do that? By investigating. Who would he have to investigate to do that? Donald Trump. Thus, what is he investigating? Whether or not Donald Trump obstructed justice. If it is obstruction of justice, it was directed at least in part at James Comey to get him at least in part, as Comey quotes Trump, to let Flynn go. The Republican Senator Mr. Risch asked if Trump directed Comey to do that. Comey answered, not in his words, no. Risch followed up, did he not order you to let it go? Comey answered, those words are not an order, and later added, I took it as a direction. This is a president of the United States with me alone saying, I hope this. I took it as, this is what he wants me to do. I didn't obey that, but that's the way I took it. And Comey added, he was so clear about what Trump was trying to do that he didn't want to tell his FBI troops what Trump had said for fear that his words would have a chilling effect on their investigation. And for the completion of the attempt to obstruct justice, its intended victim also had no doubt about the cause and effect. I take the president at his word, Comey said. Later he added, I was fired because of the Russia investigation. I was fired in some way to change, or the endeavor was to change, the way the Russian investigation was being conducted. Fired, it seems, not just because he would not just close the Flynn investigation, but also perhaps because he would not publicly proclaim that Trump was innocent of all suspicion, innocent of collusion with the Russians, innocent of everything about the election, innocent about everything in the Steele dossier, down to, quote, hookers in Russia. Fired because he was ordered in words that out of context would not seem like an order to close at least the Flynn investigation in a manner which reminded Comey of the infamous phrase attributed to King Henry II of England about the Archbishop of Canterbury. Quoting Comey again, it rings in my ear as well, will no one rid me of this meddlesome priest? Fired and left to the mercies of Republican senators who somehow went into this hearing, seemingly thinking that if they could get Comey to just say that Trump only tried to obstruct the Flynn investigation, Trump would somehow be vindicated, who somehow went into this hearing thinking that if Comey told Trump there was no investigation of him in January, then Trump could not be guilty of trying to obstruct anything who somehow, seemingly at this hearing, managed to ask questions that permitted Comey to pronounce the most damning things ever spoken about any president in our history, who somehow, at this hearing, made it urgently necessary to know if Trump did indeed tape his conversations with Comey, tapes, the mere threat of which Comey said induced him to reveal that he had taken his notes on some of his conversations with Trump in hopes that a special counsel would then be appointed. Tapes about which he testified, Lordy, I hope there are tapes. And then later, the president surely knows if he taped me, if he did, my feelings aren't hurt, release all the tapes, I'm good with it. Trump's attorney, the one who misspelled president, now says he believes Comey all but cleared Trump. 
Based on Comey's testimony, it looks all but certain that the actions of the President of the United States are under investigation, under investigation by the Special Counsel on Trump and Russia from the Justice Department, under investigation as possible collusion with the Russians and possible attempts to obstruct justice, perhaps under investigation at this moment, and that a target of some of that attempt to obstruct justice completely believed in the moment that Donald Trump was trying to obstruct him from pursuing justice. These are the only possible conclusions after the testimony to the Senate Intelligence Committee by the former FBI Director James Comey. Resist. Peace.